Hello everybody, and welcome back to us talking about the Cthulhu Mythos. <clears throat> this one is very important, um, because this is the first mention of the dreaded Necronomicon, um, written by the bad Arab al Hazared al Abdullah Hazred. Um, so, this is the Hound. And this story is um, really good, but really odd. Um, it's odd in the sense that, and Lovecraft hated this story, but um, it's very uh, tongue-in-cheek, making fun. It's like a self-parody. Um, all of the criticism Lovecraft had faced... Um, in the works of his that were published prior to this, he kind of amped up to a ridiculous degree <clears throat> and makes references to tons of Poe stuff and um, Ambrose Bierce and um, all sorts of stuff throughout this. Um, little lines, um, little nods. Um, all sorts of stuff, but let's talk about the story. So this story is um, really weird and brings up a couple other things that I don't think we're going to spend a lot of time talking about here. But um, one of the things that you will find when reading Lovecraft is um, there's not really a whole lot of women around um, doing womanly stuff. Womanly. Um, it's usually, um, a dude, and sometimes a dude and another dude. And a lot of time, not a lot of times, but there are some times in Lovecraft stories that dude one and dude two, um, are so close that they end up just living together and going on little adventures like this. And a lot of times, <clears throat> one of the dudes is the narrator, and the other dude is um, kind of like a, a manipulative bad influence on the narrator. Think of those things what you will, and later on, once we get through all these um, Cthulhu Mythos tales, and maybe even all the Lovecraft tales, um, we'll go into things of that nature um, and talk about that in more detail. But anyway, so these two dudes, they are um, very bored with everything. Um, everything's boring. It's like... Um, Johnny Rotten meets Holden Caulfield. Like, everything's boring, everyone's a phony, blah, 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 blah. And so they decide that they are going to start doing really um, wild crap to um, make up for the world being such a horrible, boring place. So they start getting involved in, like, occult stuff, and they start um, robbing graves and um, doing all sorts of weird crap. And then they bring trophies home and keep them in their basement. And um, they hear about this guy who was buried with this amulet that he actually stole, the guy stole, robbing another grave of, like, some dark arts dude. So they decide they're going to go get this thing. And the amulet itself is talked about in a certain book called the Necronomicon. Um, so they decide they're going to go do this. They go out, they start digging up. And they see this body with the amulet on it, and it doesn't it doesn't look the way it should for how long it's been there. But they also hear a wolf or a hound baying in the distance. And giant bats start swarming around and stuff.
So um, they take this amulet, and um, later this um, giant creature attacks them and kills the other dude. So the narrator is like, F this. I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, I've been hearing laughter and bane and um, footsteps. i got to get rid of this amulet. I can't deal with it anymore. So he is going to go back, dig up the body, put the amulet in the grave with it, and bury it again. So as he's going to do this, he gets mugged by these dudes. They steal the amulet. The next day, he hears that these thugs were murdered in the street the exact same way his friend was killed. So he's like, F this. Like, uh. So he goes to this grave and um, digs it up. And in the grave, he sees this unspeakable thing that's half this, half that, half this, half that, half that. Like, by the time you get all the halves, it's like 550% of something. But its eyes are glowing, and it's almost like smiling, and its flesh is like hanging off his face, and it's, it gives a big bay. And he completely loses his crap, as you would. And then we find out that this whole story being told is really just a suicide note, because he's going to put a t in his... T and um, that's it. That is The Hound. Um, really fun story. Um, kind of goofy. And it's funny, because I don't think it needs to be goofy, because there's so much cool stuff that happens in this. Um writing it in a form that's a self-parody I think almost takes away from it but um, I think unless you read a ton of Lovecraft you wouldn't know that he's doing a self-parody it would seem more like wow this guy's just a wordy bastard ain't he so anyway um, that's the hound we have the Necronomicon now and um, we will be slowly moving into the mythos quicker now so let me know down below if you like this story if it's one of your faves if it's not and um oh my goodness the wind is blowing um and yeah let me know um join the discord we could talk about lovecraft and the cthulhu mythos and all that stuff on my discord channel all this stuff will be down below um if you're watching this before Tuesday the 23rd, um, my books Black Star Murder and Dead Dame Walking are free on Amazon um, until Tuesday the 23rd of February. So um, uh, links for those will also be down below, and I will see you later.